arrests had been made on uh, on, on uh, Union Spring Road, and that they felt that the, uh, not on Union Spring Road, but uh, had been made in the White Bull area, and that they uh, were questioning whether or not the arrest was proper, if there was uh, excessive force, or, or uh, the office was more aggressive than it should have been, uh, based upon what people saw. They didn't see the whole thing, they saw parts of it, the people that spoke with me. Okay, now, well, tell me what you want Tell me what you, what your role is in, in this. Okay. My, my role in this really is uh, a community service, frankly. And what I want to do is to find out what the facts are in the case, whether or not it was a proper arrest, if the uh, action that was taken uh, by the officer was proper, uh, based upon the circumstances, uh, and, and get that information, and then be able to clarify to people who saw the incident uh, what happened and why happened the way it did. Uh, and if it was proper, uh, I explained that to them. If it was not, then uh, uh, ask the uh, uh, chief of police to take whatever action needs to be taken to prevent future incidents of that type. Now, one of the things that you said you didn't want to get into much detail about what everyone said they saw, but what can you tell me about that? You were talking earlier about a health condition. Well, let me, let, me, let me share this, and, and that is that uh, frequently I get calls from people about something, an incident or arrest that was made, and I simply go to the chief of police and, and get the facts of the case and see what happened, find out what happened, uh, and in most instances, clarify to people who saw something or heard something uh, as to what happened, and the incident is taken care of. Uh, in this case, uh, some of the people who observed what was happening knew the individual, and felt that the individual then was incapable of doing some of the things that he was being asked to do as a part of the arrest. And for that reason, they, they had empathy, of course, with him uh, uh, and him not being able to respond as readily uh, as the officer was asking him to. And so I, I don't know what the officer had been told when, before he arrived. Uh, I know, I understand there were some 911 calls made uh, about an accident, etc. And so the officer obviously was responding on the basis of what he had heard and he had received. And, and, and my role in this, frankly, is to get the facts, find out uh, if things were done properly, uh, and then be able to uh, clarify that to uh, uh, persons who observe things and saw things if, 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 if need be. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to know? Because one of the things that I want to make clear is that you're not accusing anyone. Right now, you just wanting the facts. So what would you like the people to know who basically want answers? Well, I want people to know that uh, you know, you know, he's, he is looking into this. Uh, I have a relationship with the chief of police. Uh, I've worked with him previously. And I think that he uh, will look into the case, uh, have someone to do so, and, and that will make good judgments in terms of what action needs to be taken. And, and that uh, and I'm confident that he will take that action, whatever it happens, whatever needs to be taken, if, if some is needed. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, we'll do that.